Cars like the new BMW M5 Competition and Audi RS6 aren't especially easy to justify on ecological, financial or ethical grounds. But boy are they still something else to drive. And this latest breed of mega saloon, or mega estate in the Audi's case, is in many ways right at the top of its game nowadays. With more power, more torque, more performance and, yes, more technical sophistication than ever before. Admittedly, they're also heavier than their predecessors, which is a clear step backwards in our opinion. But with electronically controlled four-wheel drive systems, massive tyres, vast brakes and hyper-effective paddle shift gearboxes, the new M5 competition and Audi RS6 are both faster than they have ever been. But how fast, precisely? M5 first, that is what we went to our favourite circuit in Wales to find out. So if you look at all the numbers and the stats and compare them to what the RS6 has got, the M5 competition should breeze this. It has 625 horsepower. 616 brake horsepower, 750 newton meters of torque, but maybe the key thing is it's a couple of hundred kilograms lighter than the Audi, and that is so crucial anywhere, but especially on a track. But as you can see, the M5 Comp is quite lively. I've got it in just about its most aggressive setting. I'm still in four wheel drive though, but with the M Sport diff engaged because it's entertainingly greasy today at this track so four-wheel drive sport the chassis i've got in sport not sport plus because i just want it to try and breathe with the road as much as possible anyway let's see how fast the m5 is starting now <laughs> gosh you really have to be careful with the throttle inputs in order to keep the back where you want it to be, which is not bad through there. Short shifting into fourth out onto the back straight, up into fifth, down to this little chicane, airborne through there, sideways out of it. It's just wanting to get naughty everywhere. Even though it's four-wheel drive. Let's have a look at the lap time there. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It's quite hard work. Well, no, it's not hard work. I could do this until it runs out of petrol. Shame about the conditions, yes, but even so, the M5 was still deeply impressive and seriously rapid for such a big car around the lap and therefore against the stopwatch. Its eventual time of 45.7 seconds was well down on where it might have been in better conditions. So the question is, could the RS6, with all 600 horsepower of its all-wheel drive Vorsprung Durch Technik, go even quicker still? It's a bit of a thug, the Audi RS6, but being a bit of a thug myself, I really rather like it. 600 horsepower, 592 bhp, 800 newton meters of torque. With me in it, it's probably 2.2 tons. And having done a few laps in it, just to see what's what, it's pretty good around here, I can say. I've got it in absolutely the most aggressive mode possible. Super aggressive throttle, sharp steering, all the traction and everything switched off. The thing I'm surprised about though, is the way it stops and the way it kind of loads up and just feels nicely balanced mid-corner. Anyway, I'm setting the lap time in this first and it starts there. Yeah, it needs a fair bit of real estate in which to stop, that is for sure. Just constantly playing with the gears in order to not light both axles up. That's lovely through there. It just kind of sways a little. Weight moves around, but it actually means you can tuck the nose in. Dead good through that chicane. <laughs> and 
then you can kind of back off. It just doesn't like that corner through there. And the lap time stops there. Wow, that's a... Look, it's quite greasy and horrible today at Landau, but that's not a bad lap time. That is not a bad lap time at all. It's faster than I thought it was going to be. In the end, the answer was not quite, and not today. Although the RS6 got closer to the M5 than we expected it to, with an impressive wet lap time of 46 seconds dead, fact is, the BMW was a touch faster overall. Thanks to its slightly sharper front end, and in raw terms, its even bigger hit of straight line performance. It is some car is the latest M5 competition for all sorts of reasons. And as enthusiasts, we should celebrate its existence along with that of the frankly monstrous RS6. Because one day, cars like this won't get made anymore. In the meantime though, let's just enjoy them for what they are and for what they represent because both these cars are still just a little bit awesome, to be honest, no matter where or how you drive them. And we will miss them for sure when they are gone. Click on the video windows to watch a track test battle between the previous M5 and the Mercedes E63S AMG, or a solo track test of the M8 competition. Click on the play icon to watch our latest video or on our logo to subscribe. And as ever, cheers for watching and do whatever it takes to stay safe.